What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PlayStation games on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Running iOS 11, any version, no jailbreak required. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, let's get started. Alright, so step one, you will need to go ahead and click on the link that will be down below in the description. It will be to Tweakbox, you guys have known about this in the past. But anyways, you want to open this website inside the Safari app, not YouTube. If it does open up inside YouTube, tap on the Safari icon. Anyways, once Tweakbox loads up, there'll be an X that'll appear after this advertisement. So go ahead and tap on the X, and now go ahead and tap on Apps. Now over here inside Apps, you want to go to Tweakbox Apps, and over here in the search, go ahead and type in Provenance. So I'm just going to type in P-R-O-V. That should be good enough. Let's say Return and Done. And there it is, Provenance. Simply going to tap on it and hit install to install this emulator. And yeah. So let's simply go ahead and hit install. Exit to our home screen. You guys will see Provenance installing right there. And all right. So once it's done installing, there it is. There's what it looks like. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and tap on it. Now, for the first time when you open it up, it will say Untrusted Enterprise Developer with a pop-up. So all you want to do then is tap on Settings. Go down to General. And scroll down until you find Profiles and Device Management. Here you will find the profile. Go ahead and tap on it. Inside there you guys will see Provenance. Over there it will say Trust. And so tap on Trust and Trust again. I already trusted it. So for me it just says Delete App. But it's going to trust it. And once it is trusted, now you can go ahead and open it up. And there are some advertisements. It's going to close out. And that part is done. Alright, now that Provenance is open. What you want to do is tap on the plus icon on the top right hand corner. And this will pop up at the bottom right here. So let's tap on the plus icon. So now I'm going to tap on web server and you'll get this pop up. Now over here, you guys will have a URL that you want to go and type in onto your computer. So we will be needing a computer to install our games. So anyways, leave your phone at this pop up, set it down. So now head on over to your computer. Doesn't matter if it's Mac or Windows. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and open up your internet browser. I'm going to be using Safari. Use whatever you want. And over here in the address bar, URL bar, we're going to go ahead and type in the URL that we saw inside Provenance. So it's this right over here. And for me, it's 192.168.1.49. For you, it will be different. Go ahead and just type it in and hit enter. Now it will be brought to Providence right here, you guys can see the BIOS, and this is where you're going to be installing the games. Don't worry, it's super, super simple. Even my cat can do it, but anyways, once over here, click on the BIOS folder icon, and over here, click on com.providence.psx folder icon, and over here, you guys will have nothing. Right now, it'll be empty, we're going to be adding a few files, so head on over to the second link that will be down below in the description over here. And again, don't worry, again, it's super, super simple. Over here, we have a bunch of down links. We're going to be downloading three of them. So the first one is 5500. So there it is right there. We're going to click on download next to it. So 5500. Now we also need 5501. So there it is. Going to click on download next to it. And we need 5502. So there we go. 5500, 5501, 5502. Now I just downloaded all three. And now they are on my desktop. You guys can see. So there's 5502. Uh, 5500 and 5501. So I'm going to go and put them in order because I have OCD. All right, there you go. And all right, so now what you want to do is change the file names to just be lowercase. So for the first one, 5500, go ahead and click on it, rename it, and I'm going to go ahead and name it. Let's do it all lowercase again. So again, it was SCPH, so SCPH, and now it is all lowercase. You want to do the same thing for bin, so right now it's all uppercase. So again, delete that. And make it all lowercase, so B-I-N, and now there is our new file name. Do the same thing for 5501, so S-C-P-H, and if you have a dash right there or anything else, you want to delete that too, so I'm going to go and delete that. So again, S-C-P-H, there's 5501, okay, good. Now we need to put that bin in lowercase too, so delete bin, put it in lowercase, and there you go. Now for the third one, again, same thing. We want to delete all capitalized SCPH and pull lowercase SCPH now and do the same thing for bin. And these are how exactly you want the files to be named. So double check, triple check that the files match exactly like this. And now we're going to go back to our internet browser to the provenance folder page. Again, make sure it's still open on your phone. Otherwise, it will not load up. You have to have the web server pop up open. And anyways, now it's going to click on upload files. So we're going to go to our desktop where we put the files. And so there's 5500, 5501, and 5502. Go and select those and hit choose or upload. And now they are in this folder. So go and double check, go back to BIOS, 
and now go back to the folder and they are there so now guys go back to bios over here so just click on bios in the blue right there and you want to copy over this file name so right there going to copy that so right click copy and now head over back to your main folder so again that's my phone right there going to click on your phone and now this is the main page where you can't go back any further so create a new folder now and name it whatever you just copied so it's going to paste it so just going to paste this like that and once it's pasted going to create the folder and now there it is going to go into this and now this is where you're going to be installing your games but hey where do i download my games well there's a website right over here and they have every single game and it's pretty cool so again the link will be down below inside the description so they have everything so okay, these are the most popular games and i went ahead and downloaded crash team racing so for example if you want to download that crash bandicoot whatever you want I'm going to type it in exactly as it is and search for it and you should find it over here so i'm gonna click on the first one yep that's it and now what we want to do to download it is scroll down there should be a down link uh keeps going down there it is download crash team racing or whatever game you downloaded so download and it'll bring you to a new page again scroll down and hit download one more time so there it is download crash team racing or whatever game it will be titled that and yeah so i already downloaded it you guys can see on my desktop right here the game and it's pretty cool so what you want to do is extract it so on windows you will need winrar or 7-zip right click on it once you have that program and click on extract here but on mac it's super simple you just double click on it and it'll go and extract it right there but anyways guys once done you will have a folder and you guys will see two paper files now this is what you want to get out of the extraction process anyways now we want to go and put these paper files there usually are two so you usually get a dot bin and a dot q so what you want to do is go back to safari and go back to provenance in that folder right here so again if you mistook where we are again we're in the com.provenance.psx folder that we just created so go back into there upload the files of the game so for me it's in here and there are the two files dot bin dot q that's going to choose and now you have to wait for the files to be uploaded to your phone i'll be back once it's done and all right guys so there you guys can see it's now done we have the files right here and everything is good to go now if you do want to add more games again put them in this folder so again we're over here in the folder that we created so yeah there's my game and now we're basically done with this part we don't need a computer anymore unless you want to install more games so i'm gonna x out of here all right so guys just remember throughout that process do not close out of this app do not close out of this pop-up just stay on this page leave your phone alone on this right here now once you guys are done it's okay to hit stop and you're good to go now to refresh your library i would go ahead and just go ahead and close out the app completely swipe up on close provenance and now we are basically to go now if you're going to go open up provenance it'll be completely refreshed and there are your games how awesome is that guys so i'm gonna go ahead and turn my volume up and start playing the game to show you guys that everything does work all you gotta do is tap on it now and you can play landscape or portrait however you want whatever suits you and this is so cool holy crap the buttons do vibrate every time you do tap on them so it gives you some feel and we got all the controls. Oh my gosh. I'm going to download the regular Crash Bandicoot 2. And so many other PlayStation games to play them on my phone. Oh god. Alright, let's go to play. So, super exciting. My camera just died before. Alright, there's Crash. So, it surprisingly does work really well on the iPhone 10. I'm not sure how it works on other devices, but let's go in and just see how it works. We can go ahead and choose our car and character right here, so... Ah, uh, who am I going to choose? Oh my gosh, I can already choose so many. Oh, a polar bear! I'm definitely going with that. Alright, so I'm going to name him whatever, and let's go down to save it. Alright, cool, let's go ahead and choose empty slot. Now it's saving. So, thumbs up this video, guys, if you guys are excited. And again, you can install as many games as you want. Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. All right. The dots and stars on the map represent. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm just going to go straight to that portal. So, you can install as many games as you want. Just make sure your device has enough space. Otherwise, of course, you won't be able to install your games. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, race is about to start. I just wish the screen was updated for the iPhone 10. Uh, but, yeah, still pretty cool. I'm playing PlayStation games, any game that I want on my iPhone. And let's get the crate. I'm not very good at this. 
Alright. Cool on throw TNT. I missed the jump. Awesome. Alright, so there you go, guys. Everything does work perfectly fine. You guys can see that. Oh my gosh. And again, the controls do give you feedback. So they do vibrate. And it's pretty awesome. What is this power-up? Now to exit your game, just go and tap on these three dots. And at the very bottom, return to game library. So... There is your game, now you have your save states, recently played, and all that good stuff. So there you have guys, playing PlayStation on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 11. This is really, really cool guys, hope you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and be sure to get subscribed for tons more exciting content. Peace out!